Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa has asked the United Nations to expand the office in Nairobi for efficiency and effectiveness in delivery on its mandate. During a reception for delegates attending the second session of the United Nations Habitat Assembly on Tuesday evening at the UN complex Gigiri, Gashagwa said that the government of Kenya will provide affordable houses through private public partnership and salary contributions to the housing fund. Speaking at the United Nations complex at Gigiri, during a reception for delegates attending the second session of the United Nations Habitat Assembly, Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa saying that while the government is implementing affordable housing project, it will ensure to reduce environmental destruction. This assembly is happening at a time when we in Kenya are engaged in a vibrant debate on provision of adequate and affordable housing for our people. We believe that provision of housing for all is key in promoting sound health, dignity, safety, security, inclusion, and social well-being of our citizens. Mm. The DP is saying that the government of Kenya will provide these affordable and worthy houses through public-private partnership and salary contributions to the housing fund. Besides adopting the public-private partnership model, we are pooling resources in the housing fund for affordable homes across the nation. This has been factored in the finance bill 2023. Unemployed Kenyans are expected to contribute 3% of their salaries to this fund. The executive director of the United Nations Housing Plan, Maimuna Sharif, will end the demonstrations, noting that the houses built using low carbon aim to preserve the environment as well as providing better housing to the citizens, especially those living in slums. The, uh, done that the, the house is on site in the informal settlement or what you call it here slum they don't relocate the slum dwellers to other place in order to to do that but they do it faces by faces and the people there are looking at the process sharif says that the native based solutions and local material systems of building houses will reduce carbon emissions saying that they are ready to work with the government of kenya to replicate the constructions of the low carbon affordable houses to say thank you again and hope that we can replicate it here in in, in kenya and un habitat is here ready to work together with you so thank you so much the government of kenya has urged the united nations to support developing countries in upgrading to better and sustainable housing projects james murekimanda kutv